March 10, 2020, Microsoft released the monthly Windows patch, including 115 vulnerabilities. One of the most dangerous vulnerabilities was not included. SMB Ghost or Corona Blue affects two specific releases of Windows 10 machines utilizing Server Message Block version 3.1.1 or SMB v3. This protocol handles specific file sharing requests. File sharing needs to be enabled on the victim and many installing Windows 10 click under Make this computer discoverable to other computers during setup. As of 2020, there were more than 1 billion Windows 10 devices online. It's unknown how many vulnerable computers have not been patched or have not disabled SMB v3 compression to block the attack. Patching and or disabling SMB v3 compression are the recommended methods to remediate the vulnerability. There are only a few POCs available for SMB Ghost. This demonstration will leverage the one from Chomp Elite. All links to the methods and content used here are down below for reference. This vulnerability was given a CVSS rating of 10. This is the highest available score and was a result of the urgency as no current fix was available when it was reported. The attacker for this exploit needs to have Python, and the attack also requires creation of a custom payload of shellcode to execute a reverse shell. MSF Venom was used on Kali Linux 2020.3 to generate the shellcode for the exploit demonstrated here. The first step is to verify the Windows 10 instance is vulnerable. This is a two-step process. The device must be one of two versions, Windows 1903 codenamed 19H1 or 1909 codenamed 19H2, and the device must be running file sharing via SMB. All Windows 10 versions with the aforementioned code names are vulnerable, including 32-bit systems, 64-based systems, and ARM64-based systems, as well as server core. As you can see, this version of Windows 10 is 19H2. This is 1909. Out of the box, this version is vulnerable as SMB is enabled. For demonstration purposes, this OS was installed offline and Windows Update was also paused to prevent critical patches from being retrieved. As for this vulnerability, is to use a custom script created by Ali Pong. The link is down below. By running scanner.py, the script checks for dialect 3.1.1 SMB and compression with a negotiate request. As you can see here, this computer is vulnerable to SMB Ghost. This particular exploit was created by Chompy Elite and includes kernel shellcode and user payload. We are going to create a payload to execute a reverse shell. The exploit is linked down below and is available on GitHub as well. I'm going to use MSF Venom to create a shellcode payload with a reverse shell. We will specify the attacker IP address and the attacker port. We then will replace the user payload content with the shellcode generated by MSF Venom. We then replace the BUF with user underscore payload and save the exploit.
we will set up a listener on port 31337 on our attacker machine as we use that port in our shellcode. Then we run the exploit, including the required dash IP variable, the victim's IP address. The exploit runs and reports back each step. The operator is then prompted before the shellcode is executed. Then enter a key. And as you can see, the listener picks up the shell. We then run Who Am I to identify that we have NT Authority System Access, which is the highest level of access in Windows. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe if you enjoyed it. And remember, keep patching.